All right, take number three. So I hear people say, you know, you should have a pistol caliber carbine, not just an AR, whatever. So uh, a few years ago, I, I looked for one. I've got buddies who have, sorry about the camera, I'm moving it. Um, 44 Magnum, 45 Colt. And I'm like, man, I don't want to deal with that crazy expensive ammo. I'll buy less highly priced ammo, but still highly priced. So I wanted 357, so I ended up going, I wanted stainless. So I got a Ruger SP-101. I got a deal on this, so that was about four months ago. It came with this grip, the Hogue extended grip, 25 rounds of Hornady uh, defense ammo, 357 defense ammo, sorry. And the original box and everything. I got it off Craig's or arms list out of a place in Colorado for 540 shipped. I couldn't believe it. I thought that was a steal. Because around here, they're 650 for just the pistol. A lot of times, we didn't even get the box. I didn't want specifically this one. I wanted the 3-inch barrel. Um, but I well, wanted stainless, and I thought Ruger. And I kind of wished I would have got a 6-shot. So I'm, I'm debating on even keeping this. And, um, and I know I won't screw people, so I listed for about what I paid for it. And I know it'd go fast, so then, you know, do I want to have to search again? That's the whole issue. But I like this one because you can change the sight. I want to do an excess big dot sight because I think the fiber glass or fiber optic won't last on a 357. But I don't want to buy two. I'd rather just buy the one. <clears throat> so anyway, as I was saying, buddies that have the 44 Magnum and 45 Colt. I did the uh, 357 stainless. Don't know if you can read that. 20 inch barrel. Uh, I bought this off a, a guy when I lived in uh, California too, Illinois. And uh, I had one I bought, it was a 16 inch and I thought it was like a kid's but I got a good deal on it. And uh, it was new at the, at the gun shop, it just never moved. Uh, this one's got some coating coming off of the barrel. I don't know if you can see that. This is a 2012, 20 inch, uh, 338, 357, the bead sight. And uh, the first one I had was a 16 inch, all blue, and I was like five, 70 I think I paid for that 560 and uh, didn't like it so I sold it I thought this is neat this is stainless too and uh, I thought it just seemed like a kid gun like a toy it just looks so small and uh, so I sold it and got the 20 and then the finish on it was horrible so I sent it back block and, block. and uh, sent it back to Rossi Taurus, whoever, and uh, they sent me and <clears throat> they sent it back, but all they done was like sand the one spot. It was like right up in here. It looked like glue underneath the finish. And they'd sanded that part and then didn't even take all the glue off. It still looked like it was there. It just looked shinier because they put new lacquer on it. And I'm like, well, that's just dumb. So I didn't care for it. It just bugged me. So I listed it when I lived in um, down by Springfield, Missouri. Some guy collected these. He wanted uh, a 16 inch, the 20 inch, and the mare's leg. And he had the mare's leg and the 16, he just didn't have the 20. I think he gave me like 650 bucks because they weren't importing them anymore. And then, uh, man, this, this, did I buy this in Illinois? I don't remember now, but I'm pretty sure. And, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm lost in thought trying to remember where I got this. But the guy I got this from, really nice guy, and uh, I got it for $550, I want to say, or $540. No, it might have been $500, $5 or $525. It was $5 to $540. And uh, they said they weren't making them anymore and you couldn't get them. And I'm like, oh, and it's stainless. I'm like, I really want that. And uh, this one's from 2012. I don't know if I said that already. Sorry if I keep repeating myself. And I've not had an issue with it. I took it to the range. 
they shot some 38 plus P in it, and it was literally like shooting a 22. It was crazy, and it was really accurate too. Uh, you know, when you try to shoot with the earmuffs on, it's a pain. I should have had your plugs, but uh, I mean, it's it's amazing. It it was like no recoil, very accurate, and just just so much fun. Uh, if I could find another one, I saw one the other day on arms list in Springfield, around Springfield, Missouri. And it was, it was stainless, and they wanted seven sixty nine, and I'm like, that's just crazy. But I mean, I guess if somebody will pay for it, they'll somebody will price it at that. You get one person that pays an outrageous sum, and then everybody thinks they can get it. So, uh, but this is a rifle that will that'll be with me in the in the coffin. <laughs> uh, but I I love it. It's it's not perfect. I mean, I don't know. It just it's got that worn look. And it's, it's okay to have one that looks worn, just not when you pay new price. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to decide if I should sell this. I really want a three inch and I'd really like a six shot, but I got such a deal. And I wouldn't screw somebody. I'd probably list it for really close to what I paid for it, probably around 550. And uh, it'd sell fast, I know. So then I'm like, you know, man, then I'd really have to, to go on the hunt. So do I want to sell it and then look for one or do I want to find one and then sell it? I don't know. But uh, does anybody else have this kind of combo? The pistol caliber, uh, matching rifle pistol. Uh, I've got a PC9 carbine also, rifle. Yeah, I'll probably bring it out. But I, I've got a Ruger SR9C and then a couple of 19s. I sold my 26. I just, I just didn't see a use for it. If I'm gonna carry, I might as well carry my 19. Um, but I love my SR9C. If I could find 10 more, I'd buy them all. I mean, they're just, they're fantastic pistols. Um, but so yeah, it works with either one of those. I'd like to get an S, another SR, or another PC9 <clears throat> carbine, but man, people are, you know, like $900 for one with an optic on it. I'm like, that's just crazy. I don't want one that bad. So anyway, I've rambled on for seven and a half minutes, so I guess I will let this video stop. You probably didn't watch this far anyway, because I didn't really show that much, but these are excellent pistols. Maybe I'll take it to the range and make a video, but if you can find one, I would definitely get it. Get an older one. They seem to be pretty good. I would say this one, being a 2012, was better than the ones I bought in 2016. I'm thinking about getting fiber optics, but that's, that's a long think-out decision there. But anyway, everybody have a good week. It's Wednesday.